hi friends so it's yet another video so in this video what i intend to do is i want to answer the questions that a lot of people have posed to me they want to find out how my step two prep is going and also the resources that i'm using uh, because they hear different things from different people so in this video i'm going to address just that if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel kindly click the subscription button and also click on the notification leave a comment for me um, whatever you think about this video so i've been prepping for step two since uh, january um, of 2022 and as you all know i took my step one in um, 2021 uh, that was in um, july of 2021 and i took about six months break to work and have some savings so that i can stay home and uh, study full-time because uh, i remember in my uh, step one experience um, i was working and at the same time studying and what i realized was that my job sometimes demanded that i work five days in a week and um, it's mostly night shift and it's 12 hours so when i go to work and come back i get so tired and sometimes like i have to study uh, before I sleep and then I have to wake up again and go to work. So say um, if I work today from 6 p.m. to to uh, 7 p.m. the next day then when I get home seven, um, at say sorry it's 6 p.m. to 7 a.m. the next day. So when I get home what happens is that I have to sleep but I will say I, I want to divide the time so instead of going straight to bed like I would I studied until about 12 noon before I sleep and I'll wake up again um, at 5 and prep for work and go to work and the same thing will happen. So it drained me a lot and I'm not someone who really loves to, I, I don't like studying like under stress and you know like with the cortisol and the stress hormone like it's going to wipe out everything from your brain. So that's one thing that you should know if you are under so much stress during your studies. It's not very good. Look for something that will um reduce your stress so that is one uh, thing that i um, i learned from my uh, step one so this time around i want to just stay home and study so i took some time off studies worked for six six months saved some money and i'm, I'm home studying full time yeah so now um, let me talk about how my step two has been going so far and then later on i'll talk about the resources that i'm using so um, studying for my step two, um, so far it's been smooth like compared to step one because most of the things on step two are um, repeat from step one and it's just like in step one they are asking it in a different way. For example, in step one um, they will ask you about, um, maybe they'll use some buzzwords or they'll ask you like straightforward but this time they want you to know that even if they don't present you with the whole signs and symptoms of a condition it could still be the same uh, condition so it's it's more like that step two is also more about how you manage the patients like what was the best next step or what is the diagnostic um, tool that you would use uh, to uh, to assess the patient so uh, uh, step that that's how the step two is so so far i would say it's not too bad for me since i have some um hospital experience so it's not too bad so far um currently if you want to know like what i'm scoring on my step averagely i'm at um, 70 percent average on my first pass of of you world and i'm doing uh, my incorrects at the moment i'm taking time to go through the notes uh, to go through the UWorld. So what I do on UWorld is that um, this is this is a typical example of the notes that I take. So if I get any question wrong, like I'm going to uh, take notes of the question, the reason why I got it wrong, um, I'll uh, put down the main points that I should look out next time and try to form my mnemonics if I feel like I'm gonna forget. So I'll form mnemonics so next time I do not forget. So that, that is what I do. And I have many of these sheets here. Um, I have many of them here, so they are right in front of me, and I can uh, refer to them anytime I I, I want to refer to them. So that that is uh, one thing that um, I do um, for my studies time. Um, I'm able to study all day since I'm not working, and most of the time I go to the library. Uh, so from say like I, I love to change environments so so that i don't stay at one place for too long because when i stay at one place for too long i get so comfortable so 
um, when school is in session, I go to a university campus, their library close to me. So um, I've been, I think I've been going there the, um, for the past, uh, for the first three months that I was studying. So um, there are two schools that I go, I go to a university and there's also a nursing school that I go there and then sit in their library. So when I get fed up with the university, then I go to the nursing school for some time and then sometimes I'll study at home. But um, so like when I wake up in the morning, like I'll go to the library between nine and 10. And then when I get there, I'll sit wait for my study partner, I'll call her and then we start studying. And then we we'll study until like, say five to six p.m and then i'll come home eat rest watch the television for some time and then by eight to nine p.m again we start until like after 12 then um 12 a.m then we can sleep and sometimes if we don't start early it's not always uh, fixed that way but when we don't start early um we can study until like 2 a.m but that will mean that in the next morning we are going to wake up after nine am so um yeah um yeah that that's that's how it is going so far um it's not really bad um with this and versus the step one for step one most of the things were basic and they were more like um you really have to know the concept you have to know exactly what they were talking about so that made step one more broad and with biochemistry genetics and all that was very difficult and um, this time they don't really go into those details of biochemistry and genetics so like it makes things a little bit um, um a little bit better i would say um yeah so um also one thing i'll say about the step two is that um, I've learned my lessons from step one. With step one, in, when I was doing step one, you were like what mostly I would do was I was think um, thinking about getting the questions correct. You know, I was I wanted to get the questions correct. But for step two, what I'm doing is like I really take my time to read everything, um, every explanation like all the incorrect, like those are the correct answers, the incorrect. I read everything and know the reason why um, I got it wrong and why I shouldn't choose it next time. And um, also I will refer to uh, first aid um, f uh, to see if first aid has more points. And But I would say like most of the things on, on step two, um, we've already done them on step one. So if you are someone who has studied very well for uh, step one, one then um, step two will be something that probably you know but you just want to put them in the right perspective the way they want you to uh, to learn it for step uh, two so that if you know the information on step one you don't have to necessarily um, do um, you don't have to necessarily go into a first aid to learn it at first but you know it by you you just want to learn from you what what you what wants you um, to know um, one mistake that i will say well it depends on how you want to uh, approach this because i wouldn't say it's a mistake but again it's affected me a little bit not doing step two as soon as i finished step one because um i thought i could work and um like stay home but if i just done it immediately i wouldn't have uh, forgotten a lot of things so when i began i thought like i really forgot a lot of things like <laughs> some of the things you know we we have to memorize so when it took a longer time than like they go back into your uh, subconscious memory so yeah it was like i forgot i forgot uh, most of these things but as i started studying and then when i got to about 40 percent of you of like most of them um, came back to me so um, I was, i'm just i'll say i'm building on the step one and uh, knowledge and it's been very um helpful and um, not to keep this video very long there's a lot of things that i want to say but um let me go straight to the resources that i'm using um so when i started before i started studying for you um for the step two um i decided to gather resources right so uh, the first thing i bought was uh, this uh, step two ck book this is the first thing that i bought and then i bought the online med ed uh, also i bought other resources i subscribed and um, i still went for my um, step one book very very important this is this is the gold this is the this is the, this is the real thing like this is the bible yeah so yeah i went back for it and 
again the super book this is the book that <laughs> i love this book i love this book because i can use like two weeks to finish watching the videos of Pat Thoma. so um it's it's been very very um helpful so um these are the resources that currently i, I am using so with the with the online med ed what happened was that I think like people suggested by everyone in the kind of the teacher that they, they love because I still do a B and B videos even for step two and I do a Pathoma also videos. So with the online med ed, um, what I think is that it's just going to prolong my study, just going to uh, increase the resources I'm using, and I also have you also. Um, frankly, I would say I haven't used the online med ed. The only thing, the only video I watched from uh, online med ed was. Uh, I think acute chest uh, syndrome or something and then I learned his mnemonic uh, monarch C badge yeah that's what I learned and I made notes of that and I couldn't go back to it again because the resources are overwhelming like if you're not careful you will end up reading all the resources and um, you wouldn't be um, appreciating your studies so so these are the resources to uh, Pathoma first aid U world and B and B as usual, just as we did for step one, and that is it. So, over the past one week, I have watched many videos from Pathoma. I've watched GI all over because I forgot certain little things about GI. So I watched Pathoma GI all over. I watched um, uh, all the WBCs and and RBC pathologies. I watched everything, and um, I also watched uh, Renal, and I watched. Um, cardio. I watched the whole of the uh, BNB cardio. Right now, I'm uh, watching um, the BNB uh, cardio as well. I've watched some part of it. I watched the drugs. Um, I just want to watch uh, the Wigger diagrams, and uh, I I'll be fine. Um, yeah. So 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 that is it. So just keep your resources uh, just the same as step one. I will say because honestly. Um, I've, I've used uh, st this step two book. I would say I don't really use it. I use it once a while, um, but because whatever is in this book is in U World already, so I make sure I read U World thoroughly and make my notes from U World. Um, that that is that is what I do, and um, it's it's been very um, helpful. So yeah, um, that is it. So this is what I have to share with you right now. Um, pray for me and remember me your prayers and also if um, you are someone who have um, for example like if you have anything to add to this video kindly put it under the comment and also just to tell you like I've not been sponsored to promote or discredit any resource everybody and what works for them and I'm genuinely um, trying to um, share my share my, my my thoughts with you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching this video kindly subscribe to uh, my channel um, and um, help me promote uh, my channel share my videos with your friends also and don't forget to hit the subscription button and uh, thank you and when i get ready and then i write my step two um, I'll surely um, share the scores with you guys and when I go into residency also I'll share the score I'll share everything with you guys so thank you very much and I'll see you again in the next video and uh, bye good luck in your study hey but hey before you leave I want to tell you that it is doable if I can do step one and do well then you can also do step one it's it's doable like uh it's doable i know myself and i'm saying it is doable <laughs> it's doable so yes you can also do it so thanks for watching this video bye